The news at five o'clock. This is Luke Hatton. Good evening. Another day in the Brexit limbo. With a continued race for number 10, what will the government do next is the question that the public are asking. Bob Pickle reports. So, Brexit, three years on and where are we? Well, we're still trying to grasp for an appropriate way to leave. Now that both David Cameron and Theresa May have withdrawn from being Prime Minister, it'll be up to either Boris Johnson or Jeremy Hunt to deliver the Brexit that the public have voted for by the 31st of October. I want my grandchildren to have the advantage of being able to go live, love, work in Europe, yeah. to move around freely. I think people who voted for Brexit forget it's a two-way thing, you know. It's not stopping people from the EU coming here, it's also curtailing our freedom. For months and months and months and months and we yeah. will continue to be here until we get, you know, the right result. This is now all about democracy, okay? We had the referendum, the country voted to leave the EU. It was the largest democratic exercise in the history of the UK. And basically, we've been portrayed by our MPs. So what was the point of the exercise? Whichever way you decided to vote, what is the point of the exercise unless you wanted the result? Are you going to say every time you have a general election, you're going to say, well, I don't like the fact the Conservatives won, let's have another one. So whether it's hard, soft, deal, no deal, second referendum or no Brexit at all, the country still remains to be split on the outcome of this vote. And whilst everyone at the moment might seem unhappy, on the bright side... Thanks, Bob. Now I'll hand over to Jeff Norton with the Sport Report. Thanks, Luke. Sports, sports, sports! This is the best year for sports we've ever seen here at the BBC. The Women's World Cup turned in 28.1 million viewers who tuned in for 15 minutes before getting bored. There were 1.7 million live requests to see England's semi-final defeat, making it the most streamed women's game on BBC's platforms. Well done, Lionesses! This has been a great start to the BBC's new hashtag change the game season, which really helps to put more women in the sporting limelight. And I suppose it really helps out BBC's new diversity skit. Oh no, I'm not supposed to... Okay. Now we have the, the weather with Rainy. Well, welcome to the weather. My name's Rainy. I'll be giving you a weekly update for the weather. So, in the north, sort of around the Manchester area, we're going to get some rain, some drizzle, some UFOs, some clouds. It's not really what you want to see when we're approaching the British summertime. Luckily, for the people in the south, sort of southeast near London, we're going to get not much sunnier spells. The temperature's going to be rising. Maybe go out for a picnic. Take your dog out for the walk. Just have a nice time. It's the summer. Enjoy yourselves. Oh, remember to send in your photos to the BBC. I really want, can't wait to see those. So yeah, I've been Rainy. That's your we weekly update, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, Ray. In other news, have you seen Kellogg's new white chocolate cocoa pops? Well, it seems no one has since their apparent release. Bob Pickle reports. Kellogg's have recently brought out their new product of white chocolate cocoa pops. The supermarkets have been struggling to stop them. I spoke to serial mega fan Stephen Bruce about his thoughts on the mishap. Oh, so I've travelled fucking four fucking hours to get down here to London. And there's no Cocoa Pops. The white chocolate ones aren't there. There's the chocolate ones, but there isn't the white chocolate ones. What is this discrimination? Disgusting. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to Kellogg's. It's somewhere around here, you know. And four hours down here, you know. I'm going to meet Mr. Kellogg, and I'm going to tell him to give me a full f***ing apology, because I'm absolutely bloody fuming! Ah! I'll be back.
me off! <laughs> Thanks, Bob. An interesting report. That's all for now. We'll see you at 6 o'clock, and we hope you have a lovely evening.